solve this equation for f2 that's equal to minus ax minus f1 the cosine of 45 degrees now plug that in your calculator that number turns out to be minus 2.5 kibs good now you solve now you get the member forces for f1 member 1 and member 2 let's write that down in here again f1 is minus 3.536 kips f2 is minus 2.5 kips okay now let's look at the overall drawing of the truss now you got member 1 and you got member 2 you can move on to tackle this joint and then you'll get member th the forces in member 3 and member 5 alright let's do that that's joint C Joint C. Now, joint C, you got F5, F2. Again, draw everything in tension. If it turns, if the uh, the member force turns out to be negative, means it should be in compression instead. Okay. Now let's write in all the known forces we've saw for F2 earlier and that value is minus 2.5 kips okay now let's do some of the forces in y so you go to 0 and that's equal to F3 that's it and which means that F3 is a zero force member now let's do some of the forces in x is equal to 0 that's equal to um, the plus F5 and then the minus F2 solve that for F5 is equal to plus F2 which means that F5 is also minus 2.5 kips ok good now we have the force for member 5 and member 3 now we still need the force, member force in member 4 now the only way to do that is to look at joint B or joint D let's look at joint B so a joint B you got F3 going down you got the uh, F4 coming down at a 45 degree angle and then you also have four F1 coming down at a 45 degree angle now we know that F3 is 0 from earlier and we saw for F1 already let's see what that number is F1 is minus 3.536 kip now you can you have a choice here you can either do some of the forces in X or some of the forces in Y either way it can get you the force in F4 now let's do uh, some of the forces in Y let's go to zero and then you have the the minus X component of F1 so minus F1 cosine of 45 you can F3 minus F3 you have also minus F4 cosine of 45 degrees solve that for uh, F3 0 let's just put that out F4 is equal to minus F1 cosine of 45 degrees divided by cosine of 45 degrees that cancel out that means F4 is equal to minus F1 which means it's plus 3.536 kips okay now let's go back to the overall drawing again now we got all the member forces and all the reactions and it's done
but we we looked at joint A, joint B, and joint C. You can also take a look at joint D just to verify your answer. In fact, that's a pretty good way of checking your answer. So let's do that also. Let's draw joint D. At D, you have to F4 coming up. F5 going to left. And then you also have the rotor support of DY going up. Now we know DY is from earlier. DY is minus 2.5 kips. F4 is. Um, what is F4? F4 is 3.536 kips. And F5 was minus 2.5 kips. Now you can do some of the forces in X and some of the forces in Y if they should all balance out. If you did it correctly, let's do some of the forces in the Y just to check. Let's go to zero. So you get the dy going up, and then you have the uh, y component of f4 going up. So plus f4, sine of 45 degrees. And that means dy is equal to minus f4, sine of 45 degrees. Now let's see if that's true. dy is minus 2.5. And F4 is minus 3 point, I mean, negative, negative, and F4 is 3.536 sine of 45. Plug down your calculator, and it is indeed minus 2.5 kips. So it checks out. Okay, now, now that's it for the method of joints. Now, this may seem a little tedious and now, now this process may seem a little tedious but it's very important it, uh, for structural analysis one since you'll be doing this before you actually perform the structural analysis every single time now another method called method of section which is a um, a faster method if you just want to get the forces in, uh, of certain members instead of forces of all the members like we did earlier. Okay, now that's it. Thanks for watching.